My name is Elisa Cooper. I'm Dave Ferguson. Hi, I, I'm Wendy Shapiro. Hi, my name is Debbie Knotts. Hi, I'm, I'm Derek Toten. Liz Dorland. And I am currently at Washington University in St. Louis. At Loyola Marymount University. Folsom University. The University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Maryland Institute College of Art. I have been with NMC for as long as I've been at Case and that is probably going on nine years. We've been in the NMC since I think 2001, 2002. Since 1995. More of my interaction with NMC has actually been virtual than it has been real. That's been a really uh, convenient and exciting way to interact with them. This is actually my second year of being with the NMC and it's been absolutely fantastic. It's very difficult to choose one moment uh, at the NMC that um, it really defines it for me because um, it's constantly redefining itself for me. The NMC as a group sort of uh, really helps bring legitimacy to a lot of the programs that we are backing and trying to initiate. One of the things that they did I, I think will ultimately help and that is the idea of the C-Lab. I think it creates an opening to talk to people about possibilities. I've had several great times and epiphanies because uh, smart people getting together talking about the future. And in an NMC I find the most like-minded folks that are like, oh yeah, I want to know more about that, that's what I want to get to, or yeah, I'm doing that, I want to learn more about it. It continues to be very exciting to see what other people are doing and um, have opportunities to interact with, um, with people all over the world that are engaged in similar sorts of uh, services, support that my unit is at my institution. Also, what happens though is I get inspired by where the people are going. I say, Maybe we could be doing that. Maybe we should be doing that. Why aren't we doing that? Just to listen to what people are saying and what you guys are doing and where you want to take the NMC. There's a lot of pride in what we do, so it's been great. I'm in the right place. <laughs> well, the conversation that we're having today at this gathering is um, really germane to the question of what do we do back, back on campus when we get back home. I'm, I'm here in Austin and I'm learning all these great things, but what will I do when I go back? So I think. We need a way to sort of maybe help us uh, connect with our campuses and our faculty back at home. I'm really looking forward to kind of disseminating across several different branches of the school so we can get more involved. Well, for me, the biggest problem on my campus is getting people to adopt technology. Anything the NMC can share, and I think more the webinars, for example. Well, I don't have to get them out of their offices even. They can do it over lunch or they can do it from home if I have an adjunct. And so I can get them into a webinar that interests them, then I bring them up to speed. As of today, the NMC has helped me quite a bit, which wasn't a way that I knew the NMC could help me yesterday. And that's with the um, Navigator. I think that we can really grow and benefit with the Navigator. I'm really excited to take that back to a lot of the faculty at Full Sail and a lot of the administration and show them the power of, of what the Navigator can be. It can help share our stories. We make connections and build collaborations. I've got to tell you, I mean, that was sort of worth the trip. They just need to continue to do that and continue to be at the forefront of any sort of new media or tools. NMC keeps the pulse, it keeps the pace. Every time I come to NMC, I take something back. Just giving us that opportunity, this sort of like that sort of like little home base, you know, to come back to, to just sort of talk with people, you know, of like minds, you know, who are facing the similar challenges um, is, uh, you know, really invaluable.